In today's Market Movers, the pros from CME Group are checking out the yield curve. CME Group launched Micro E-Mini Futures Contracts. Discover how a smaller Micro E-Mini Futures Contract opens the world to greater trading possibilities. Welcome to Market Movers. I'm Jim Urio with Scott and Martin. Hi, Jim. Okay, so Scott, so 10-year yields, uh, 2.41, knocking on lows we haven't seen in almost a year and a half since January of 2018. First of all, why is it happening? Knock, knock, knocking on lows again, yes. Jim. Well, it's happening for a lot of reasons. I mean, you could pick your poison. Uh, you could do China trade wars. You could do weak economic data in the U.S. and certainly worldwide. And, of course, maybe some more Fed rumors of a rate cut okay, later this year. So it's heading toward inversion. With all the central bank involvement over the last 10 years, has the, the inversion of the yield curve lost its predictive power that it used to have? In my opinion, in this case, yes. Now, I think it has to be a case-by-case -case basis, but based on the involvement that you said with the central banks around the world, that, to me, maybe makes the inversion scare a little bit less yes, powerful. Yes, you may guess it by the question, but I believe that completely. I believe normal the shape of the yield curve is much flatter, you know, independent of all these things. If they're normally. out of the way, it yeah. acts more normally. There's no question about it. Now, before we dive into our trade discussion, I'd like to point out these are examples, not recommendations. When we price these out to 10-year September, which is the underlying year, was trading about 124.18. Scott. Yeah, so uh, it's really interesting to watch the ZN these days, Jim, both because of those reactions to central banks, as you mentioned, and the reactions it has to data. And I think one interesting aspect to the ZN today is just, one, the double top recently that we saw in the ZN around 125, but also kind of that rally, the big one we've had since like about January 21st or so in the ZN. So specifically, Jim, I found something somewhat interesting I'm going to tell you about right now, my friend. Looking at buying the week five, 10 year, 123 spot 75, 123 spot 25 put spread for three ticks. This trade risks approximately 47 to 50 bucks to make about 453. It expires May 31st. You mentioned the underlying at 124 spot 18. I just believe that these concerns over disinflation, deflation, this trade war deal getting worse, falling apart with trade talks with China is already kind of priced into the ZN. And therefore, I see that this is going to be maybe a potential fall in the ZN and a way to capture that. Does yours that. need a risk on rally in assets like stocks to, to have that happen? It does. Right? Or maybe just a simple, hey, maybe okay. there's a little bit more inflationary sure. data that comes out. Maybe things do get a little better with China and therefore rates don't plummet as they have. Okay. Now, I have one that actually did. And the reason I did it is different than yours. I bought the week five, 125 and a quarter, 126 and a quarter call spread. I paid seven ticks. Now you can buy it for six ticks. The reason I bought this too, I and it, again, it risks 94 to make 916. It also expires. So yours is wider than mine. Double mine's wider. Wide, yes. Well, here's what, what why I want this on. Because I believe if we go through that 125 level that you said, it'll correspond with a big breakdown in stock market and it'll be a push to safe haven assets, the tenure. And I think if it goes above 125, it scoots pretty quick. That's what I think. I, I think that's fair. I mean, 125 has been a pretty nice ceiling so far. So so you're right. If that breaks through there, that could definitely have some potential to go further. And if you just look too, I, I, I believe at the charts itself, and you just look at how vicious this rally has been in the ZN since, I, as I mentioned, mid to late January, it feels like there's a little bit of gravity that's going to pull that back in. And therefore, that's why I like my expression better. Surprise, surprise. I like it. And you, you so I'm planning on losing my money. <laughs> Yours is more of a speculative to potentially make money. Correct. And the fact that we've just seen rates just get so hammered on what I believe is data that is likely to at least plateau on the Got downside it. and therefore rates should start to back up in my opinion Amen. when that data does that. Thanks for joining us on Market Movers. I'm Jim Urio where we are helping to make you a better trader. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.